In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this spiked icosphere by using geometry nodes in Blender 3.0. I'll show you the conventional modeling method first. I'll hide this mesh and create a new icosphere. Let's create a spike mesh with a cube. In object mode, shift select the icosphere. Press Ctrl P to parent it. We can instance it on the faces in order to evenly distribute them on the faces. Please select the cube and press Ctrl A to reset all transforms. This was the conventional way to model a spiked icosphere mesh. In Blender 2.9.3, this mesh could have been made with geometry nodes easily. But the old nodes no longer exist in the new Blender 3.0, and we have to use a new method to create a mesh like this. This mesh was created with a new geometry nodes made for Blender 3.0. This is what was required to build it. Again, this was much easier and faster to do so in the previous versions, but this is what we need to do now. This set of nodes is not stable either. For example, if I change the cone node to object info and use an external mesh, the even distribution will break right away. This was an introductory tutorial on the new version of geometry nodes made for Blender 3.0. In future tutorials, I'll introduce you to simple inner workings of geometry nodes that we can all learn and understand easily. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.